Emulator in Android Studio doesn't start what to do. Also, I have one virtual device. I ran my virtual device and it worked perfect. And mobile app was started. Let's close our virtual device and open AVD Manager. Let's create new virtual device. I choose the first device, click Next, then choose Android 11 version. Click Next again, then Finish and our device is creating. Virtual device was created and we can run it. But the emulator process was terminated. What can be reason of this troubleshooting? The first enter in SDK manager. Then click SDK tools. Emulator accelerator must be installed. Then we can enter to AVD Manager again and we can create the virtual device with low version of Android. Tap Download and open your storage. It's very important to see the free space of disk. Emulator needs many resources. If you haven't free space on the disk, your virtual device will be terminated. Because of it, our installation did not complete successfully. Let's click Previous. I delete big files in my laptop and now Let's try to install it again. It's only 4 GB is available and we need more free space to run our device. Click Finish. Android 5 was downloaded. Click Next and then Finish. Android Virtual Device is creating. I open my file manager. Free space is the primary reason why your Android virtual device has terminated. My first virtual device needs for 9 gigabytes to run it and about 3 GB to run Android 5 emulator. And you must to free space or to download the old version of Android emulator. Let's delete our virtual device, which was terminated. And let's try to run our virtual device, which was downloaded. And the emulator process was terminated again. We need about 3 GB to run this emulator. We must delete programs or files to free space. After this, I have about 8 GB of free space. Let's start again. And our new device was run. And it is work perfect when we delete files to free space. Virtual device was started. Let's run Android application on the our new Android emulator. Our mobile application was started. And we have only 5 GB of available memory. 
it is necessary about 3 gigabytes to run mobile application. Now you know what to do if your Android Studio emulator doesn't work. If you have any questions, you can write me in comments, see other videos on the channel, subscribe to the channel, good luck and goodbye.